Hi guys, it's Monica. I am going to answer a couple of questions that I get asked repeatedly. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna give away some more of that blink eyelash serum. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. And if you're not, and you're going to leave because I'm gonna talk about eyelashes and Retin-A or whatever, give me a thumbs up anyways. I truly appreciate every single one of you. So first of all, I have gotten a number of questions regarding my Retin-A use. How am I using Retin-A? What am I doing to my skin, to my neck? Now, I, I, I always say that I'm a creature of habit, but that said, I listen to my skin. So if I am having a whole lot of reactions, I'm going to lighten it up. I'm going to switch it around a little bit. But usually at night when I come home, the first thing I do if I'm gonna be home for the evening is I remove all my makeup if I'm not filming. I'm filming so my makeup is still on. It's the end of the day though. So I usually remove all my makeup and I start that process early sometimes because a lot of times Jay might be working, he might not be home until 9.30 or something of that nature. So what do I care if I'm walking around with naked skin? But so I take all my, my makeup off, my mascara, the whole nine yards, and then I usually tone my skin. And even though I use Retin-A, I sometimes, and you're not supposed to do this, so you guys need to just do what works for you. But I actually sometimes use a glycolic toner even on nights that I'm using Retin-A, which is a big, big no-no. But I think my skin is used to it. I, I think I've probably got a tolerance for it. And I really, my, my um, glycolic toner currently, and has been for quite a while, of choice, is the Ordinary Glycolic. This is a 7% toning solution. And this I have got from The Ordinary. They're very affordable. This tends to sell out quickly. So I was gonna look over my little stash. Um, I believe I have a backup. And the other one that I have really, really liked, and this I think Lori from Pride's photo who's had first talked about this. And uh, this is a Korean toner. I'm gonna link this product below. Claire's. So anyways, I'll link it below so that you can, uh, you can get the, you know, the correct name. So I usually put that on my skin, I let it dry. After that, every single night, no matter what, uh, unless I'm, I'm going to be derma rolling, I use my niacinamide. I will put niacinamide from the ordinary, especially on my nose. I have huge, huge pores on my nose, on my forehead. So I really, really put the niacinamide on. I let that soak in. To me, that's a really good thing to soak in. And then at one point, I don't know, half hour, hour, it doesn't matter. It all depends on what I'm doing. I'll go in and I will use my Retin-A. I will say that the majority of the time I'm using my 1% Retin-A. I have it in a gel. I like the gel. When I reorder, I may or may not get the gel. I may get go to the cream, I don't know yet. But I am liking the gel. I do buy it over in India. It is very, very affordable for me in my immediate area in New England. The tube that I buy, I should have had these out. But the tube that I would buy here would be, you know, roughly about $345. If I use GoodRx, I can get this, you know, maybe for 80, 89, 90. But the pharmacist said to me when I go to refill it, I'm gonna pay, you know, whatever price is going at that point in time. So anyways, I do have this, the three strengths. I've talked about that before. Probably because I don't pay a whole lot of money for it. I'm pretty generous. I put it all over my face. I avoid the corners of my eyes, obviously. I don't go really close to my eyes. And I do go right above here. When I'm done that, I will then go in, and this has only been since about February of this year that I've been using this, and I'll go in and I will use it. I will use the Olay Pro Retinol Eyes. I have both the UK version and the US version, as many of you have seen, and I typically will take this and I will just put a little a little drop, and I concentrate it on my, my deep lines and into the crevices here and then about up here. So I just kind of tap it in a little bit. I don't use a lot of this. And then once that's done, I take my weakest Retin-A, which is a 0.025%, and I take my rosehip seed oil. I am, um, 
I, I love rosehip seed oil. As much as I love it, I don't use it on my face. I don't know why, and I know many people do and they love it and that's fine, I just don't. But I will take a, a, a drop, a globber, more than a pea size, probably two pea sizes, of my Retin-A in the palm of my hand, and then I take a dropper, you know, a couple of drops of this, of the rosehip seed oil, and I mix it in. And then I just go all over my neck, down into this area, and I just really cover it. Now, you actually usually do all along my hands as well. And then I let all of that sink in, and I may do nothing else for the night before I go to bed. I'm going to be putting, in, and I've used this consistently now, I want to say since November of 2016. I use a bee venom cream. Again, this is just what I do. I've noticed the nights that I don't use this, that I wake up, my skin is not as nice as the nights when I do use this. So it says it's a bee venom face mask, and this is the one I buy at TJ Maxx. I just put it all over my face, and I let that just dry overnight, and I go to bed. And then when I wake up in the morning, my skin is actually pretty moist. moist. So that's my nighttime routine. It has been somewhat the same for a long time. I really, really like it. Now, the next question I get asked is, since I've been using the OLAIs, what am I doing with the Nivea? Nivea, 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 whatever. What am I doing with this? So once a week, I derma roll my face. I've been doing that for quite a while. Twice a week, if possible, I derma roll my hair. I don't always do it twice a week. On the night that I derma roll my face, I take the Nivea and I put a very little bit, just a little tiny drop, whoops, came out too far. I just put a little tiny drop and I go onto the fat, the round little fat pockets of my eyes above. I just put a dab on there. I don't put a whole lot on there. It doesn't impact. It doesn't go near the Olay because I never put the Olay there. And I don't really use this anywhere else. I've tried to use it on my jowls. And I always forget it. I don't, I've never noticed a difference. I think with the fat pockets, I think they're as good as they're going to get. So dropping down to using this once a week is fine by me. I never had a reaction from any of this. I never got any dryness. And the same thing with the Oleg. You know, I haven't, other than an initial, when I first started using it, I could see a little bit of flakies. I haven't had any of that since that point in time. So that's pretty well my nighttime routine. The Olay works well every single night and one night a week when I do the Nivea, it doesn't impact it. Again, then I will also use my eyelash serum and I've been using the Blink. And the thing with the Blink is you've got to make sure, just like CarePost and the other product, you're not cleaning your lashes off with an oily cleanser. Got to be oil free. So that said, I'm doing a giveaway for the Blink. This is going to be open internationally. And if you are interested in going for the Blink, except for Sweet Thang. Sweet Thang, you already won. You can still say hi and you can still comment on the video, but Sweet Thang, you can't win again. But um, if you're interested in winning the Blink giveaway, I'm gonna give away two bottles of it, not three, two bottles. Leave a comment, tell me you're interested in trying the Blink. Be sure you like the video because when I use the random comment picker, it shows me whether someone has liked the video. Also be sure to be subscribed. So like this video, subscribe, leave me a comment, and tell me you want to be entered into the contest. I am not going to respond to any of your comments. That's my nighttime routine, guys. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you want to win the blank, if you want to give it a try. And uh, good luck, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.